future, and Ripple's youth development programme is determined to empower and encourage young people living in West Africa to pursue their dreams and learn new skills. Currently, we run two projects in Nigeria within this programme, media apprenticeships for young girls in Kano State and IT lessons for the youth of Iwure village in the south. The media apprentices were recruited by our volunteers in the north of the country and were all interested in learning more skills in photography. Many of the girls are looking to pursue careers in medicine and other academic subjects, but regardless of their final ambitions, we are training them up to a level where they will be confident to start up their own small businesses or providing photography services for their communities at events such as weddings, where it is a bonus that a photographer will be female. Currently in Kano, all of our apprentices are young girls, as due to the culture in the area, we want to empower them to feel as valued as their male counterparts and feel like they can follow their dreams without restrictions. By empowering the girl child, we can begin to address the necessity for girls to be able to access quality education in order to qualify for better jobs. The apprentices on the media programme have a great role model in Dr Mariam, who, along with Dr Abdurrahman, is running this programme for Ripples. Over in Iwuru village, our IT volunteers have been running training sessions for the youth of the village to increase their IT literacy levels. The lessons are planned to take place each month to coincide with the audit of the Women's Enterprise Project there and are put together by the UK media team, along with a set of short questions for the children to be tested on at the end of each session to assess their learning. The children had almost no experience using computers at this point, so the first sessions were used to introduce them to the hardware and software of the equipment, before leading on to more advanced skills such as word processing, email and internet browsing. By learning these skills at a young age, we can ensure that they have the chance to use technology that children in other parts of the world use on a daily basis, and in turn, increase their employability in adult life, in a job market which is increasingly dependent on digital technology. Over the course of 2016, we hope to continue and expand this programme across all of the locations that we work in, and encourage the youth to make change happen in their own lives and develop their communities through their increased knowledge and motivation to learn. Please visit www.ripplesfoundation.ngo to find out more information about the programmes we run. To donate towards Ripples Foundation, please click on the links to go to our Total Giving or Causes pages and give what you can. No amount is too small. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep seeing updates from us. And like and share our pages on Facebook and Twitter to spread our message online. You can help us to make change happen.